Well, as you can see, uh, pretty much the uh, guitar is completed now. Um, as you can see by that little demonstration, it's still not that loud acoustically, but probably loud enough. I mean, uh, it's not a lot of different than it was when it was a normal, normal guitar. Um, but uh, when it's amped up, it's not too bad. Uh, I've got a little problem with the one of the, the selector switch on it that uh, keeps cutting out. I'll have a look at that. But a few little teething problems, vibration somewhere like that I can't pick up. Uh, but this is off the front pickup. This is off the neck pickup. So just normal electric, really. discovered when I switch over to um, the piezo pickup I made out of the, uh, the little alarm system, the personal alarm, uh, I tried mounting it inside the tin, inside the body and it had so much feedback it was just unbelievable. I tried putting felt over it. Um, a good source for material and, and hows and do's and don'ts is, is the uh, Cigar Box Nation website which I went to quite, quite frequently while I was doing this build because there's so many ideas on there and uh, I mean, the guys on there are just amazing. So, um, so what I did in the end, I I cut out underneath the the biscuit, and now the piezo pickup is actually mounted underneath the biscuit, underneath the saddle. So, and it doesn't get any feedback at all, amazingly. So, unless I turn the game right up, uh, but the they said with the piezo that you put a tone pot on and it won't make any difference. But I, I, I find that it's it will make a difference on it. Turn the tone right up. And then you get then you get your feedback. So so as long as you've got your tone pot turned down, it's not too bad. This is when it does sound. It sounds more like a resonate guitar now. So. Girl came across, came across quite nicely in the end. Um, the other thing I've been playing around with is the action. Uh, I'm not too sure on that. I've got it set quite high, which I'm sure is probably about right for a slide guitar. Um, but of course, when you want to do some chords or fingering on it, it's quite high and it's, it, it's a bit painful on the old finger. So I might have a play around with that. But I'm happy with it at the moment. And for what it was, you know, it was an old acoustic guitar that was really no good. No good no good to man or beast, I'll turn the amp off a minute, no good to man or beast really and uh, it was just sitting in a charity shop window just rotting away you know so for what I paid for it, I think I paid seven quid for the guitar, uh, bits on this have really just been scavenged from old bits I've had laying around for years and years um, and some of the, like the brass work was an old table that was sitting in the garden, gone green so like you know tin of brass so it cost me a couple of quid so uh, but other than that, quite happy with it, and uh, it's been a long project, you know, for me, it, it, this is the most ambitious thing I've, I've taken on for a long time, uh, and hopefully I'm going to experiment, try and find some more old guitars about, uh, I think my next project might be like a little ukulele banjo, if I can find a hand drum, um, but it is addictive, you know, <laughs> someone said uh, you'll never walk past another shop or go in a shop without picking up pots and pans and seeing what they do and what they resonate like, you know, ringing them, see if, <laughs> see if they ring like a bell. And of course the other thing, you know, it's never going to sound like a proper dobro without a, an aluminium cone in it, but, you know, that was out of my price range at the moment, but I had built it so that at a future date I can take this off and maybe just where the tin is inside, use that as a sound well and, and mount a nine inch cone inside. So that's, that's for the future, but for now it came out all right. and. Uh, 
thank you for you know those people have commented on it and your interest and uh, uh, hopefully I'll learn to play the blooming thing now so <laughs> plenty of material out there to learn from though and uh, many thanks and thank you for watching it's been a it's been a, a trial and error a lot of soul searching a lot of cut fingers and burnt fingers with a soldering iron but it's got there eventually anyway thank you